feco, honey, ooh, many feco. That's, uh, I think we can call that a check shirt. Borderline lumberjack. Thank you. And we have someone here with a fulsome uh, moustache. So it's either, it's either a, uh, an elderly gentleman with grey hair, either an elderly gentleman or it's a lesbian of a certain age. Um, see, I'm allowed to say that. <laughs> I'm, I'm totally allowed to say that. That's thrilling, isn't it? So um, you can choose. As always, you can choose old gentleman or lesbian of a certain age. Thank you. Thank you. I'll receive your votes. Right then. Right then, let's go in. Let's go in. Gary Blair. <coughs> Gary Blair uh, has a lot to say and it will surprise absolutely nobody that he's positively fuming. He's fuming. He's fuming. Oh, look, Gary Blair. Dirty end, dirty end, dirty end of my pointer. Ooh, thank you. He's absolutely fuming about uh, about that. He's fuming. He thought it should be on the inside. It wasn't. It's on the outside, in your face. Uh, he's fuming about it. He won't let it go. Panning down. Panning down. Panning down. Um, he says, Yabu yeah, sucks to your fanny knob. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. That, that's on a par of, with what happened with uh, nondescript. That's on a par. <laughs> Sorry, I've misread that. Fancy knob. <laughs> Can't apologise enough. <laughs> Can't actually apologise enough. Yabu sucks to your fancy knob, he says. Just, just pretend <laughs> what I said before didn't happen. Just pretend that. Okay. Uh, they're wrong, he says. It's wrong. Wrong, wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Wrong, wrong. A wrong, 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 wrong. A wrong, wrong, wrong. Well done. Well done, Mr. Gary Blair. Sorry, you, you, uh, you. An apology would have would have sufficed, to be honest. Mr. Gary Blair, that's all I'm saying. Um, anyway, he says, ooh, ooh, his, he, his fury continues. He says, ooh, I see I suggest a drunken build. And, hang on, and um, poo-pooed, poo-pooed from a great height. But some newbie does it. Ex excuse me, Katie Hall is no longer a newbie. Katie Hall has been a regular and consistent member of the Afawak gang. Please retract your accusation. But some newbie says it, and, oh yes, I'm not against it. Me, 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 He actually writes these, these things down. Me, 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 Such is his, his fury. Me, 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 me. Well, I've got news for you, Mr. Gary Blair. Hope you're ready for it. Hope you're ready for it. Because of circumstances beyond my control, I'm actually uh, doing this build um, at Prey Sunday lunch. Um, and, and I've got to go onto the radio in just over an hour. And uh, if I say to you, if I say to you, uh, cheers, Gary Blair, cheers to you, cheers. If I say that to you, good evening. Good evening. Yep, got a glass of wine. That's how we're rolling. That's how we're rolling. <laughs> 
in the shutdown, the coronavirus shutdown. Oh, hello, Georgie Gibbons knocking on the window. What do you want? Oh, she's such an idiot. She's such an idiot. <laughs> she's just sitting outside the shed and wanted my attention. Well done. Right, uh, Mr. Graham Triggs. Um, I'm delighted to be able to tell you that Mr. Graham Triggs sings, uh, seems to have got the seal of approval from pretty much everybody. And so without further ado, hang on please. Without further ado, I will now give you Mr. Graham Triggs sings you never make me stay so take your weight off of me i know your every move so won't you just let me be i've been here time before but i was too blind to see that you seduce every man this time you won't seduce me. Dirty Diana. Oh, thank you, Mr. Graham Triggs. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you, Mr. Graham Triggs. I mean, seriously, that needs to be a regular feature. That, that I'm, I'm praying that actually, that actually, oh, she's, she's talking again. Just shush. No, no one's interested in you today, Georgie Gibbon. <laughs> Nobody. Nobody. She's full of chicken. <laughs> She's absolutely <laughs> rammed full of chicken. It's, you know, it's, it's like quite extraordinary how much chicken she can eat on a, on a Sunday. <laughs> stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Telling her to stop it. She's being very naughty. Very, very naughty. Right. Earlier today, this, this, <laughs> these are the things that we're doing, because now obviously she's home. She doesn't know what to do with herself. <laughs> Earlier today, I am not joking, uh, I dressed up to dressed up as Batman and she dressed up as, as Spider-Man and uh, we made a short film. Sadly, I don't think it will ever see the light of day, Not not because... I wouldn't happily publicly post it, but mostly because we did it for uh, the son of uh, somebody who's quite famous. So I'm not sure we'll ever be allowed to, to uh, let that one out, but, but hell far it was fun. Hell far it was fun. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Bear this my son, Uncle Strawberry. Here he comes. He says short legs, long arms, and a distinctly middle-aged haircut. Yes. <laughs> Georgie Gibbon insists on banging on the window. I'm going to ignore her from now on. <laughs> I'm just going to ignore her. No. Right. No. <laughs> This is what's hap this is what's happening. Oh, she's just her leg just her leg just appeared at the window. That's all I'm saying. She's showing off. Um Bevis loved the, the white parrot. I don't know what I'm doing. And then he's wibbling on about Perry off of the that there, the little mix. Oh yes, yeah, sorry. He, I think that's that's referring to uh, Bevis Mass and Uncle Strawbit would like the theme tune for Relax with Lego sung by Mr. Graham Triggs. I mean, it's we, we're getting that way. Uh, he says Perry off of, of the that there, the little mix could never sing it in such a slightly sinister way. Mm. I think I would agree with you. Then he he chipped in. Uh, you will recall that uh, I uh, showed you a picture sent by uh, Pink Lady yesterday of her extraordinary uh, and well-stocked middle drawer. <coughs> 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 presented 
without further comment. <coughs> and uh, Bevis uh, wanted a piece of this. He said, I have, I have lots of pencils and pens and stuff. Yes, all right, Bevis. You don't need to be showing off. He said, but mostly for art rather than because of a general adoration of stationery. Well, I'm sorry, Bevis, but that's absolutely unacceptable. Um, he says, I will show you my most recent purchase, though. They are very, very marvellous. But let's just say I could have bought a lot of Lego for the same price. Look. Look. I've got issues with this, Bevis. This isn't sufficiently colour co coordinated for, for my uh, for my liking. I one of my great passions when I was a child, I had Caran d'Ache pencils, and I would just spend hours organising them so that they were sort of graded from lightest to darkest. So could you please do that for us? Because this area here, I'm finding completely unacceptable. It should be over here. Please fix it. Thank you. Thank you. I have spoken. No, thank you. I have spoken. That was an adjudication from me. Thank you. Thank you. Um, this is going on here. <laughs> Look at this. Look at <coughs> this. This is what I'm dealing with. This is what I am dealing with. Okay? That's what I'm dealing with. Thank you. That's what I'm dealing with. <laughs> That's what I'm dealing with. It's like everyone's gone a bit giddy today. Haven't you? Anyway. Uh, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> cheers, everybody. <laughs> cheers, everybody. Uh, baby, some uh, mango strawberry. Uh, it says the sign of a good marriage is Chris. Oh, that's his... Uh, his other half. Not asking me how much my coloured pencils actually cost. Mm. And uh, <laughs> me not asking him how much his coffee machine actually cost. I mean, that's, that's fair enough, isn't it? E everyone's got something that they love. Everybody. Everybody without exception. Then he adds, John Barrowman is trying to supplant you as a celebrity Lego gay of choice. How shocking. I'm saying nothing. I say nothing. I say nothing. If if people want to cheat on me with John Barrowman, then that's a matter for them and their conscience. I just want to point out that uh, has John Barrowman got a sound machine? Has he? Has he got a pointer? Has he? Has he got a slightly dirty pointer? Has he? Has he got? Has he got? Uh, has he got tweezers? Has he got these things? No. Does he sing you songs? No, he does sing songs. Yeah, but, but yeah, but not about, not about you. He doesn't sing songs about you though, does he? I mean, I'll just leave that there. I just don't, I'll say no more about it. <laughs> I'll say. I'll say no more about it. it. Says, "Ooh, Bevis must have Uncle Strawberry." It says, "Are you feeling a little bit insecure about the threat of Barrowman?" No. <sighs> Gee whiz. G actual. G actual whiz. G actual whiz. G actual whiz. Look at that. That's nice. Nondescript. Hum, hum, hum. It says uh, the US, uh, the UCS Millennium Falcons, Greblin, Greblin. That's definitely what is written. Or she, we don't know. Greblin, Greblin. What's a Greblin? What's a Greblin? Is that an official Lego term that we don't know about? I need to know everything about it immediately. A Greebling uses a large number of different elements, such as space skeleton body, revolver, uh, telephone receiver, to great effect. Um, oh, where's it gone? 
Where's it gone? Because it was very funny. Where's it gone? Oh yes, there we are. And then Nondescript says, we could repurpose the lipstick piece uh, <laughs> for, uh, for some new use. Any thoughts? We all know what he's referring to. If, if I just say to you, Jackie Swan, um, I'll leave that there. <coughs> la 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 la. There's good news on Little Sue. George, Georgie Given is now doing this <laughs> at the window. This is what I'm having to deal with. This absolutely unacceptable. Anyway, good news on little Sue. She says, oh, I, I'm out of bed and dressed, which is marvellous. Um, ju just a bit of pain breathing now. Oh, little Sue. But hoping that passes soon. Oh, that's brilliant. We're very pleased. We're very, very, very pleased. Um, Katie Hall. She likes to complain. She loves it when she's complaining. She's not happy unless she's got something to complain about. She's Katie Hall. Um, Katie Hall says, uh, read the, uh, the, the, the tipple that was suggested. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Uh, one, when you reach 1,000 subs. That hasn't happened. That hasn't happened. Two, if you live stream. That's also not happening. Three, Sue Perkins is there. No. No, she's not here. And, uh, oh, look. I really like that. Really like that. And uh, that's that. So as, as would be, as this would be a planned event, she says, you could schedule it for five minutes after the acceptable drinking hour, couldn't you? Hmm. Then Ruth Hayes says, enjoying this bill, but I have to say the dreary mid 20th century glazed door with the controversial knob. Let's just look at it again, shall we? Let's just look at it again. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, next the elaborate window on the first floor is really getting on my nerves <laughs> it's really getting on her nerves it just doesn't look right mm. yeah I mean yeah well okay panning down panning down imagine a door getting on your nerves I'm slightly worried that a lot of Things that seem to have disappeared. There was some stuff from Pink Lady. It seems to have disappeared, everybody, and I'm slightly worried about this. Hang on a minute, please. Uh, there, there's some issue with, with these things not. Um, bam, bam, Yes, here we are. Look, there's more here. Uh, Mr. Graham Triggs says, yes, the fancy knob is on the outside in your face, Gary Blair. I love it when, when Mr. The Vars uh, sticks up for me. In your face, Gary Blair, in your face. However, by waving the booklet in front of the camera, this is to me now, you've just exposed yourself that it's on the wonk. Oh, Pete's sake. Actual Pete's sake. On the wonk. Gary Blair. He's fuming. He's absolutely fuming. Well, he says, that makes entirely no sense. Nobody needs a knob on the push side of a door, but they do on the pull, and it gets in the way of the door closing fully. Nonsense, I say. Utter nonsense. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh, good. I found Pink Lady's business, which will come as a great relief to everybody. Let me get this... Uh, let me get this in. That's interesting. Putting a chair there. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, will you look at this? 
Oh, isn't that fabulous? That's fabulous. It must be an ATM. It's an ATM machine. Oh, that's fabulous. That's fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. I'm very impressed with that. I think that's marvellous. Right, uh, pink lady. Here we go. Here we go, pink lady. Pink lady. Hmm. Emma. Need some queries. Uh, too. Uh, Emma, you, you weren't sure, but you have correctly identified the volutes on the window surround. And they were used again today on the attic story. Hmm. Aside, I'm very much enjoying the jazz-influenced musical stylings of Mr. Graham Triggs. More of this sort of thing needed, I feel. Yes, correct. It, 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 it's, it's inevitable that this is now going to be a regular feature of Mr. Graham Triggs' things. First, uh, notes and queries. Emma asks, what is a voussoir? Perfect pronunciation, by the way. I mean, I'm not entirely sure that I'm pronouncing that correctly today because uh, I've forgotten. Voussoirs are the other shaped elements forming an arch between the springers and held in place by the keystone at the top. See illustration. Voussoirs. Voussoirs. We, we're learning so much about architecture, aren't we? Uh, we move on. Thoughts from an Architectural Historian, Part 1. Today's build has again offered us much on which to comment. The crowning glory of the building is the shaped Dutch gable with its complex elements complementing the floridity of the first floor window. The addition of further ionic volutes ties the treatment of the upper stories together and gives coherence what is a very busy decorative scheme. These are rigorously classical elements deftly handled. She sharpens her pencil for the last lap. The large scale parrot finials are magnificent, she's put that in caps, magnificent, in the tradition of medieval gargoyles and are somehow very serious and very frivolous at the same time. Delightful. Oh, thank you, Pink Lady. Mm. Thank you, Pink Lady. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Katie. Katie Hall. She loves to complain. She's called Katie Hall. She never spends any time except on the telephone complaining about things. So Katie Hall, uh, she says, yes, hello, hello, hello to you, Katie Hall. She says, I need to speak to someone. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, hang on. This is a proper complaint. Bring, 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 bring. Yes, hello, this works with Lego. Oh, yes, hello, it's me, Katie Hall. Oh, hello, Katie Hall. Um, she says, yes, um, I need to speak to someone regarding the dog and the bird. Dog and the bird. Dog and the bird. Dog and the bird. <laughs> uh, yeah, I need to speak to someone regarding the dog and the bird. I'm not impressed. You do surprise me, Katie Hall. How? What? Uh, you? Not, not impressed? What? What? Why? Why can we have? She says. Why can we have beautiful white parrots as architectural detail? but not a bird and a dog, that we know they have. She's furious, she's absolutely furious. I'm doing no building, have you noticed? Absolutely furious. Bear with the uh, muss and uh, like strawberry says, it's a certain amount of old school building. But they're also likely made of elements that uh, become something else integral in the other builds, because of course, let's forget, this is a three in one. This is a three-in-one, Katie Hall. Did you say, I think you're going to have to suck up some things that are a bit rubbish on on uh, some of the three-in-one bits. Oh, no. 
this is gonna feel, make Gary Blair absolutely fuming. Ooh, Gary Blair, which way is it going? Ooh, it's going that way. Are you furious, Gary Blair? Are you furious, Gary Blair? We'll have to wait and see. Um, Katie also says, thank you, Sensei. Thank you. She thanks him. Um, and says, on one hand, I see what you are saying and applaud someone's ingenuity to do that. And then she adds, I think these three-in-one sets border on witchcraft. No offence to witches, she says. On the other hand, I want them to make something else and give us the animals <laughs> in different colours. I mean, she's never satisfied. She will never be satisfied. Uh, little Sue. Little Sue. Uh, she's called Little Sue. She's little and she's called Sue. Is little Sue. Hello, little Sue. She's Bobby. Uh, Bobby. Bobby. It reminds me of a character in, in Charlie Brown. Is it Marcy? She used to wear brown leather Jesus type sandals. Katie Hall says, uh, the one who who uh, followed Peppermint Patty around and called her sir. Yes, that one. Anyway, here comes the best news. Here comes the best news. She says, I'm out of bed and dressed, which is marvellous. Just a bit of pain breathing now, but hoping that passes soon. I've got a feeling I might have read that earlier. For some reason, the, the, all the Twitter business today has, has gone a bit on, as, as, as uh, to, to, to quote Mr Graham Triggs, on the wonk. It's very strange what's happened today, but if I've, if I've said that twice, guess what? I don't care. I don't care if I've said it twice because I'm glad we all know that little Sue is better. Don't care. I can say that as many times as I like. I can read that message out as many times as I blinking well like. Now then. Now then, hang on, please. Hang on a minute. Okay. Really? Yes, really. Okay, thank you. That was a mild panic. I won't I won't lie to you. Thank you for coming to my mild panic. It's now over. Thank you for coming. Little Sue said, I, d I did enjoy the range and number of plants on this build. Yes, there's been a lot of plants, which I know you love very, very much. Um, Katie Hall, she never stops. She never stops. There's always there's always something for her to complain about. Um, this is a not this is not complaining, but she has put out a request uh, to know every weirdest thing that's ever happened on Relax with Lego. She says, please include an episode name and number. Thank you. Yes, that's quite an ask. Cramp. I mean, even I can't remember the weirdest things that happened on Relax with Lego. I mean, there's so many, aren't there? There's so many weird things. Oh, do you remember the great scattering? I mean, that wasn't weird. It was just mildly terrifying. But I mean, now we know that the, the table is haunted uh, by the ghost of the magnetic cat. Um, it sort of puts things in perspective. Jackie Swan. Scrub down, everyone. <laughs> Scrub down. It's, <laughs> it's Jackie Swan. <laughs> Scrub down. Scrub down. Scrub down, alert, 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 scrub down. It's Jackie Swan. Uh, she says, thanks for the encouragement, Emma. Read my ever-growing list of <coughs> hobbies. And apologies for directing your subs elsewhere. I mean, I just, I just don't, I don't understand what you were even thinking. <laughs> Jackie Swan. Maybe we could get him, Barrowman to send you the instructions once he's finished it. Well, you know, I don't follow him on Instagram, she said, saltily. Maybe you could um, ask him. Sorry, you didn't see that going on. Maybe you could ask him, Jackie Swan, if he'd like to send me the instruction booklet when he's done with it. I'll leave that with you. I'll leave that with you, shall I, Jackie Swan? Uh, Katie Hall, I would complain about being cast as the complainer, she says. 
but maybe it could be worse. I may phone up management once in a while, but I would never, never cheat on Relax With Lego. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Noted. Noted. Uh, you get house points. You get house points uh, for that. Uh, Katie Hall. House points are awarded. Thank you. House points are awarded. Um, yeah, we've done that. Oh, yes. Katie Hall also said, just to be clear, none of us are asking you to embrace alcoholism for our entertainment. Uh, cheers, Jack Swan. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, Katie Hall. Cheers. Cheers, little Sue. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Episode 33 was absolutely hilarious, she says, but when it is safe for it to happen again, what a celebration it will be. It may be a tonic for those not out of the woods yet. Hmm. Um, now then, the scissors. Do you remember the scissors from yesterday? The freestanding scissors that I found absolutely unacceptable. Unacceptable. Um, Katie Hall asks, are the scissors a freestanding element? Or are they a dildo in a drawer? Oh, please don't. Just let's not, please, can we stop? Can we stop referencing the thing in the drawer? Can we please? Umbrella in a stand, better. Biscuit in a safe, even better. Type accessory, hmm. Then she asks, is middle desk drawer a euphemism? Uh, over there, uh, Pink Lady says, I, I think Emma... Might have been aghast at the thought of rummaging in my drawers, which would indeed have been exceedingly rude. Uh, little Sue. Can I, I can't stop laughing at Emma's mention of sorting through Pink Lady's middle drawer. Relax with Lego. It's just the tonic. Oh, little Sue. I'm very, I'm very pleased that, that we're, we're helping you uh, with, with the worst of it. That's what I'm pleased about. I'm glad that we're here to help you feel better at all times. Jackie Swan, uh, she, she who I think it's safe to say we, we should... Oh, this is... I think I might go out now. Um, uh, Jackie Swan, she who... who We're all very, very, uh, very grateful that we have to social distance from... <coughs> um, <coughs> she says... Is Bobby, is Bobby a child or a prepubescent teenager? Most well, we don't know. Most of the pinafore is very childlike, but she looks like my auntie Joyce. Then Katie Hall suggests it's possible she and maybe Barbara from the cinema are little people. That that's that's not impossible. Maybe Lego isn't sexist, like Emma said, but is actually more inclusive than we imagine. Hmm. Yeah, it's entirely possible. It's entirely possible. Uh, Katie Hall again referencing uh, Ruth Hayes's um, fury uh, with the 20th century glazed door. Sorry, I would have done this at the time, but for some reason, uh, all the tweets have appeared out of order. She says, is it just me or are we a twitchy bunch? I, I don't want to pass comment on that. That's, that's for other people to uh, make assessments on, perhaps Mr. Graham Triggs. Um, I'm always so relieved when someone else mentions something and I realise it's not just me. Hmm. Charlie Chops, she fights crime with the hair on her face, Charlie Chops. She says, nope, I don't agree with the plonk scissors. Not one bit. No, nobody does. Absolutely nobody um, thinks that the plonk scissors are correctly uh, placed. Uh, Absolutely nobody. Nobody. She says, it's okay if they're in something. Yeah, yeah. T tell us more, Charlie Chops. Or gripped. Ooh, tell us more, Charlie Chops. But absolutely not just leaning like that. No, no. We're all in agreement. And, of course, we should bow to Charlie Chops because she's constantly dealing uh, with crime-based things uh, on a daily basis. Uh, safety is her middle name, Charlie Safety Chops. And Ruth Hayes, quite rightly, says, mm, safety hazard. And that concludes today's club business. Right then. Not 
much more to go on today. Crikey, I better keep an eye on the time. I've got to be on the radio imminently. Imagine if I was just out here sourcing about uh, and then in comes the call from Dame Gabby Roslin. Excuse me, hello, I'd like you on my show, please. Where are you? Yeah, sorry, I'm out in the shed. I'm out in the shed while, while, while my wife um, uh, knocks on the window because she's being a bit naughty. Now, oh, hang on a minute. Oh, that goes that way, does it? Oh, look, this is rather good. Oh, that's rather good, isn't it? rather good. I like that. I'm giving that a round of applause. <coughs> Sorry, sneezed. Sorry. Sorry. <coughs> Sorry. Oh. Sorry. 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 I wish I could show you the film that me and Georgie made today where I was Batman. She was Spider-Man. Oh. <laughs> I wish it more than life itself. Maybe I'll be able to one day. One day. Or imminently. Who knows? Who you know, Or never. Or never. It'll either be imminently or never, I imagine. Now, what's this? Is this another creature? What is it? What's this? What is it? What on earth is it? Yes. Yes. What's, what is this? What is this? Anybody? Anybody know what this is supposed to be? Is this another bird? Is it? Is it another bird? What is it? What on earth is this? Is it the penguin? What is it? I think it's meant to be something. Oh, is it a, a is it a, a puffin? Hmm. Or a pelican? What is it? I think it's a pelican. What do you think? I think it's a pelican. Oh no. Absolutely infuriating. Put its head back on. Wait, hang on. Okay. Oh yes, it's a pet shop, isn't it? Hmm. Um, then this. And these. Now what do we think this is? Mouse? What is it? I think this is a mouse. I mean, they've got m they've got nieces. Oh, they nearly. It's a mouse. I'm not sure if I'm loving it as a mouse. Does it go on there? Yes, it does. Right, so that's a niece. And then look, there's a little bit of cheese going on the floor. I mean, I'm not loving, loving it. Oh yeah, all right, fair enough. But I'm not loving, loving it, kids. Thank you. Thank you. Ditto. That's not that, that's not a terribly exciting draw. Till, I mean, till, till, till. Now, what the heck and who is this?
Yep. Yep. Dog. Dog face. Do we think? right no it's it's not right this one isn't right i have no spatial awareness when it comes to this stuff it's that okay oh parrot parrot and dog yes are we agreed on that parrot and dog parrot and dog that's actually very clever that's pretty that that is actually pretty clever isn't it parrot and dog i think i'm giving that a I mean, we already know what, what uh, Pink Lady will have to say about that, don't we? We already know. Now then, two of these. Two of these. Hard to get on those. So that's marvellous. What's going in it? Anything? That's, that's really good, isn't it? Oh, very good. Okay. Bones. Two bones. Two balls. And that is... going here it's going there with our gentleman slash slash older lesbian lady there got that going on there did we give her a name? I can't remember her, him, uh, named? Haven't got a name there. Got Dirty, Di Dirty, Dirty Diana. Oh. Um, but we need names for these two, please. Get on it. Get on it, gang. I do believe, yes, that's it. So that, that is a bag four. And actually, there were some quite good elements today, I think. I really like that. I really like that. Obviously, we love an awning, this creature. And um, I think the the fish, in, the fish there is quite good. Uh, the pelican is acceptable. Mouse, unacceptable. Completely unacceptable. Um, but let me have your thoughts. And I will see you tomorrow. Cheers, Apple Wax.